Hi guys, Horse Trader here. This video is going to show you the first few steps of getting started with the Betfair API. So why do we want to use the API? Number of reasons. Firstly, we can retrieve historical pricing information, historical results, live price data for our various markets, you know, tennis, golf, football, horse racing, greyhound racing. Also, we can do some automated betting. We can, we can get a strategy and then make it automatically place bets, whether you're going to program it yourself or use something like BetAngel. We can backtest our betting strategies and many other things. So first you're going to need to sign up to Betfair if you already haven't. So just go to betfair.com, join now, enter all your details and get an account. And then we're going to need a development app key. So the development app key essentially is a unique identifier that tells the API client which account is requesting something. So this is going to be unique to your account. I will have my own app key, Jeff will have his own, Sarah will have her own. So to get this app key, what we want to go is, we want to go here, we can read some more information, and then we want to go to Accounts API Demo Tool. I'll have this link in the description. But essentially what this tool does is, it allows us to visually test some of the API functionality, instead of having to go through a command line and a request and read the JSON response, etc. So you're going to need your session token ID. So when you're logged into your Betfair account, which I am not, so this is how we're doing on Firefox, but on Chrome it's very similar. Inspect element. I'm going to go to storage, cookies, and then betfair.com. Then down here there'll be an entry called SSOID, which looks like this bad boy here. So then you just want to copy and paste that to here. And then we want an application name. Now this has to be unique. How's that for unique? Now this did not work for me, besides I changing <laughs> some of the characters of that, um, but I already have an account with keys on it, so when I actually put my uh, S session token in, it didn't work. But for you, this should work. And then here, we will have your development uh, app key. So you just want to save that somewhere. It'll, it'll look like this, just some assorted string. So every time we want to make a call to the API or a request, we need to pass this as a header. So I don't know, we'll just we'll make one up right now. App key, I don't know, we'll change this. Oh, but you get the point. We have we have our new app key now. So now whenever we make an API request, we're gonna have our header set up. And then we're gonna have yeah, app key equal to above. So that's what we want it for. Some more things worth mentioning about the app key. There's going to be two types of app keys on your account, a live key and a delayed key. So the difference between them is pretty obvious. One of them will give you live pricing data, the other will give you uh, delayed data. So here we can see some more information, a variable delay between one second and three minutes. So obviously the live key does not come free, 300 pounds. You need to have this in your Betfair account and then when you go to do it, they'll just subtract that from your balance. But as you can see, the delayed application key has quite a bit of functionality. So ideally, you want to just get your de delayed key, go in, backtest, develop your strategy, and then when it's showing a good decent profit, you want to get your live application key and run it. Um, also, these keys should only be used for personal betting use. If you're using it for commercial use, you're going to have to get approval from Betfair prior to that. So guys, that's how you get started, getting your application key for the Betfair API. I'm going to make some more videos going into depth on the different requests we can make to the API, how to tie them all together, and then possibly I'll be going through some of the, my own applications I've created. Please follow, like, and subscribe to the videos. Thank you very much.